Good morning, everybody. This video is being pre-recorded on February 5th to be posted on February 14th at 10.30 a.m. Good morning, everybody. Today, I am here to provide updates on my romantic comedy, TBR. Um, for some of these books, I'm partway through them. For some of them, I have finished them and they're going back to the library, so I figured I would review them all at once. So the first book I wanted to talk about today is Chuck and Mate by Allie Hazelwood. This is the only romance she has written that is not based in STEM. It's based around playing chess. And personally, out of all of her books that I've read so far, my favorite has probably been Love Theoretically. Most of her books have gotten five or four stars. I think this one is getting three just because I've never played chess. I've never watched people play chess. I have no idea how to play. So chess, it was really hard for me to understand what was going on in this book because I don't know anything about chess. But still, I mean, her writing is good. The banter is good between Mallory and Nolan. Um... And then I also love her relationship with her little... I love Mallory's relationship with her little sisters. I think that's very sweet. Um, Hannah's parents are either divorced or the mom passed away. So it's also a single parent trope because her dad is divorced. Or maybe it's... No, it's the mom. The mom's divorced. So, um... Yeah, so... Right now, I am on page 274. Uh, the next book is Funny You Should Ask by Alicia Sussman. This romantic comedy book is a then and now plot line between uh, a entertainment news article writer named Chani and a actor named Gabe who is in, like... Um, 007 movies and I love the build-up in their relationship but I don't know I'm not sure if I really liked Chani's character that much the cool thing about this though is that there's blog posts and journal entries in between the chapters so that gives a little bit of a insight into like the kind of stuff that Chani does for her job so I haven't rated this book on Goodreads yet but I think I'm probably going to give it three stars. The next book that I'm reading is Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. This is a hockey romance between a hockey player named Nate and a figure skater named Anastasia. And basic, there's a lot of good banter in between here through text message from all the hockey players. Because they have, like, group text going on. And I think my favorite character out of all the hockey players is Henry. He's one of the youngest, well, younger hockey players. And he has a lot of good one-liners in here. So right now, I am on page 174. And I am really enjoying this so far. The next romantic comedy book I wanted to talk about today is called It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey, who wrote Fix Her Up, Wreck the Halls. Um, and, um, oh, I just read another book by her, too. Now, what is it? I don't remember. Anyway, so this book is set in Seattle, Washington. It's about a girl named Piper, who's an actress, who goes to stay in Seattle with her sister over the summer, and she falls in love with the guy who lives in town, Brendan. And let me just say, the main character, Piper, she reminds me of Alexis from Schitt's Creek because she's, like, kind of, like, really ditzy and she wants to be an actress like Alexis does. Um, I really liked this book. Tessa Bailey's writing is really good and I love the banter in here between Brendan and Piper. And their, the build-up to their relationship is very sweet. I believe on Goodreads, I gave this book four stars. The next book I'm reading 
is One for My Enemy by Olive Blake. When I heard Sarah and Rachel talk about this on their YouTube channels, I was so excited because for those who don't know me very well, my favorite Shakespeare play has always been Romeo and Juliet. One of my top favorite musicals has always been West Side Story. This is a modern day retelling of Romeo and Juliet. But instead of the Montagues and the Capulets, you get a family of witches and a family of warlocks that are living in Manhattan and competing for notoriety because they work in stores and they sell things and they compete against each other. So the youngest siblings and the families of witches and warlocks are the love interest in this story. Um, the girl's name is Sasha, and, uh, the guy's name is, Lev. So, I love, th there's a lot of relationship tension and buildup between all of the characters but obviously my favorite couple is Lev and Sasha because they are essentially Romeo and Juliet so I love all of Blake's writing it's very lyrical and it makes this book go by very fast for me because even though it's not an iambic pentameter like Shakespeare's writing it it flows very easily um so I'm definitely giving this book five stars once I rate it on Goodreads because, as I just mentioned, I am a big fan of Romeo and Juliet. And finally today, I wanted to talk about Set on You by Amy Leah. Um, Destiny talked about this on her YouTube channel. It's part one. It's book one in a series about different influencers. This book is about a fitness influencer named crystal who is who posts a lot of stuff on her blog about being body positive um she falls in love with somebody who she meets at the gym named scott and they end up crossing paths at the gym but not only that they cross paths because their grandparents are getting married and the buildup of their relationship is very sweet um there are a couple of trigger words in, in, in this book. Um, the, the, the author has an author's note at the beginning. There are trigger warnings for fat phobia, cyberbullying, and references to racism, fitness, diet culture, and cancer. Um, so I love this book. I love the theme of body positivity because right now I am actually going through a weight loss journey myself um and um I love Crystal's character for how she inspires people with her fitness blog uh so I gave this book four and a half stars on Goodreads so this is where I am now with my romantic comedy TBR I am still waiting to borrow buy a thread and rock bottom girl from my friend kate and for archer's voice and behind the net to come in at the library um so those books will be reviewed later on when i do my monthly wrap up at the end of the month um so i hope everybody has a great valentine's day thanks for tuning in